Okay there. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me... I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him. But my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. 
I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Even just a couple hours of your time. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go oh, on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Whoa. Talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Yeah. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew, but he's been unraveling for some time. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. looking for English mace okay let's continue on so you were just talking about something but he's been unraveling for some time now and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point it took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. I just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know, I had a son once. Years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later.
This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So, anyway, when she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered $10. It hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be. I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clue as to what happened here. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Okay, let's continue on. Look there! Smoke! Do you have any binoculars? Favors men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But, but I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. 
Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... Actions don't always go the way you plan. to fight them. Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? Sure looked like one. I'm up near the Canadian border someplace. Canada? Uh, they got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. And French folk, too. No. France is near Canada, then. No. France is near... Is near France. Well, it's in France. Indians is from here. Where are you from? Me? I'm Polish. From Milwaukee. I think I saw someone. Something's over here. Who's there? Must be imagining things.
Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. There we go. Hey, Mish. Arthur. Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. <laughs> the great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A uh, jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have the spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, wouldn't be quite so satisfying getting them with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree.
Whoa, what's this? You got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on a... now, Tyron, I got you. I got you. Come on. Ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back! Uh, Amish! Amish! Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick! Bastard just bumped me. <laughs> Over here! <laughs> Hey, come on up here. Come on. Uh, uh. You lost anything? It's just my rod. Would have gotten my toes, too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. Man eating pike? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Now reel a mite quicker. Hey, hey! I think I hooked him. Reel. Let's land the bastard. Ah, you lost him. Let's try again. I think we found them. Cast again. Come on. That took. Come on. Stop a second. You snap the lion, you reel when he's fighting like that. Time to reel. Strong, ain't he? Stand steady. Reel it in. Don't let him pull you. Come on. Come on. Start reeling. Sorry for. You caught him. Let's row back. The 
Here, here. Oh, hold her. <sighs> Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. our little adventure. <laughs> All we need is each other. That's what you said. You promised you'd never leave me. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on.
Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. Oh, Lord. No, we're done for now. Wolves, stay back. Must have smelled the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? You see, if, if if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Uh. I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. <laughs> it sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm 
dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. Mr. Morgan! Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe? Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of the vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Come on, pal. So, this Colonel Favors, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws. But I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here.
Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Okay, fella. Come on now, boy. Yeah. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. 
Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. <laughs>